Welcome back to Half-Life 2. I have no clue where we left off. Oh yeah, we're at the end of Fall Freeman. Um, I'm assuming this might be the last part. I don't actually know, but let's get into it. Oh yeah, that's really good. Oh! Shotgun Man 93. Oh, I'm Shotgun Man 90 dying. Sorry for being quiet there. I'm trying to focus. It gets a bit stressful at this part of the game. Oh god. Oh boy. So we're gonna start dying a lot here. Sorry if I'm gonna be a bit quiet this episode. I am gonna have to focus. It's actually uh, been a hot minute since I've played Half-Life 2. <gasps> supplies. Shotgun Man 93 supplies. Okay, we're here. We're here. This is a good part to be in. I remember this part very vividly from when I first played Half-Life 2. Okay, we need to make our way to the roof here. Hey, watch your language. I heard that. Oh, a gunship as well. I don't remember gunships being here, to be honest. Ow. Oh, God. Take cover! Why won't you die? I'll come with you. Do I have the uh, difficulty set on? Because it looked like, um. Yeah, it's not easy. It looked like. It looked like the game updated earlier, which I found. Oh, is it gone? Nope, it is certainly not. Oh. Take him down. Are you seriously trying to just shoot a strider? With a SMG. Alright, hold on. Okay, we took him out. Ooh. This is very Head stressful. For Head for the horse, yeah. That's what Barney said, right? He said that earlier. Oh, hey! I think I remember on my first playthrough, popping through here with an SMG. Running and gunning. Oh! Hey, watch your language, bro. I don't want to be a bad boy, hey, watch your language. Very Christian YouTube channel. Dog came crashing through the plaza, really. knocking over walls, but, and you know what I, I mean. Think he's looking for I Alex. He seems to have it set in his head that she's in the Citadel. Well, I mean, I figured Alex would it would make much sense. It would make a lot Hell, of sense. You try stopping him. Oh yeah. Just throw, just throw a bug bait and watch all the ant lines go wild for the citadel. Oh, look at the citadel. It's a little poly. Hey, no, it's not there. You can't get through that way. Sure he can, if he believes he can. Oh boy. Well, I'll be damned. Uh, I think he wants you to go through, Gordon. You better hurry. Yes, sir. Um, maybe I'll change the wordage a bit, but yeah, sure, sure, Barnes. Uh, anyway, we're starting a new chapter, so we have to end the episode. You're <laughs> just kidding, I'll keep going. Way too short of an episode. <laughs> Two minute episode of Half a Two. Also, at this point, um, well, no more lambdas. From what I remember, there's no more lambdas. I don't think anyone would be able to put a lambda in a citadel. But there is the last head crab of the game. And now he's dead, okay. Well, unless you count something. Uh, unless you count the, the credits, or at least the modern credits. 
Alright, well, this is where it gets a lot weirder. The geometry is gonna change. See, I remember something I used to do. I know you can't do it now, but I used to be able, I used to try to jump in there and see if I could make it in there. You can, of course. It, it, you can't at all. It, there's an invisible wall. That or it's too thin. Ah, <sighs> good memories of this game. I still remember um, first time playing through Portal 2, beating it for the first time. That was really fun. I think we need to go down here. If I remember correctly, which I usually don't. Um, yep, we do. Now this one is certain death, so don't go in that one. Go in this one. See, that one, that is not a teleporter. That is just a giant laser. And it is a deadly one. Now I probably shouldn't quick save here, because usually quick saving in a vehicle crashes the game, but I think Half-Life 2 is optimized enough that it will. Maybe I'm just thinking of Gary's mod. Or loading in a vehicle with Gary's mod. Or maybe hunt down the frame. Oh god, sickening. Anyways, one thing I have here um, that I might as well talk about while we're on this cool ride. Um, a new gun I'm working on. It's a Luger. Oh, there it goes, breaking. The barrel's very loose. I'll probably talk about it, that when I make a video on it. Anyways, we have a lovely tour here. Uh, I think we saw this in the beginning of the game, which I can't believe I recorded that last year, I think. I started doing this series last year. It's been a while. I actually think I never uploaded an episode of this in February. I might have, but I just cannot remember for the life of me. Anyways, I do remember, I just remember that I forgot to clear out my storage space for this. Um, so I have a few videos there. Hopefully this episode will be rather quick. I might end it short because I am feeling quite tired today, but I feel like, you know, you guys need an episode today. It's been a while, you guys still deserve one. I promised that I would get one soon, so I'm getting this out now. This is like a rail yard junction. Rip Goldberg looking machine. And weird noises as well. One thing I do want to talk about when we get to it, um, I'll talk about something. Uh, oh god, it's that creepy sound effect that we can hear. Screaming. I think it's coming up here. Nope, this isn't it. That's just dropship stuff. I've never actually noticed these up here. I've noticed the striders because that's where it draws your attention to, but I've never noticed these. Still creepy screaming. Hello, War of the Worlds. I think you return here on episode one. Actually, speaking of, I've asked this in the past, but oops. Uh, do you guys want to see me do episode uh, one and two after this? Because I don't know what you guys want to see or not. So I've been trying a lot of different content, seeing what people like. Ooh. Yes, here. I want to talk about this. You'll notice these gunships here are normal, but if you look at how at all the angles, you can see that is a gigantic gunship. I'm not sure if that was going to be used as a lot element later, even though it never really was. But there, you never see this. It's the only time you see the giant gunship. Is that in the skybox? It might be. But it's it's interesting that that's the only time you ever see it. Ooh, train. Alright, anyways. Here we go. We're nearly two apart, um which is super fun but super dreadful at certain, at certain parts of it. Now, I have a feeling I have died only a few times in the series, like the uh, last part I died, and the game crashed last part, which I thought was funny. But we're gonna die a lot in this following section. So, while we're here, we might as well get rid of our ammo. Just fire anything. Last shotgun. That was the last shotgun blast from Shotgun Man 93. Please let me keep my shotgun. They call me Shotgun Man 93. No. But. But. They call me Gravity Gun Man 2004. Now that's a little bugged, but that's just because Half-Life 2 is in the game. Gravity Gun Man 2004. We can now pick up people with. So this is not to Break these things off. I'm gonna use this as a weapon. 
Oh yeah, we can also supercharge our suit. Not only do, is our gravity gun uh, charged up super, so is our suit. Interesting sound effect. I like that sound effect. We're using this as a weapon, baby. Killed by your own, uh, Attacked by your own equipment. Well, Dr. Freeman, I'm That's crazy, did I ask? I'm gonna stop doing that, because I actually find that meme kinda irritating. It's a bit dead at this point. I really like this field. Kinda just makes them slowly levitate towards them and eats them. Huge capture. Oh, hey. <laughs> He's dancing. It's more of like a scene of a Can you just die already? Supercharged suit? We'll have a lot of suit energy chargers here. Oh, God. Oh, grenades. Run! Combine! Oh god. Oh god, they're coming from everywhere! Now, there's gonna be a lot of loading screens because the combine architecture is so big that. Oh no, it's this part. Land. I hate this part. It's, far just, it's one of those hold off until an elevator arrives cards. Hold path. off until somebody arrives. Anyway, I suppose you could not have done otherwise. Sand off. Shut up, Dr. Brain. Yeah, as you can see, I'm not very good at this game. I'm over that halfway through without my shotgun! Where's my shotgun? I don't have any cover anymore. Okay, die. Die immediately. Please charge help. Oh god. Please die. Attention! Please die right now. Soldier of the men. Oh! Did you guys see that? I just flew! That was insane! What was that? Half-Life 2 is an old game and it's very obvious. Get in the way. Die. Get you on the night. Can you die, please? You've been shooting at me for a while. I can't even- I couldn't even reach you or aim properly. It's such a stressful part. Where's that manhack? Will you shut up? Manhacks are just so cool. My least favorite enemies in the game. They're cool but annoying. Look, he's just- he, he literally just died. His AI went kaboom. His AI physically said, yeah, I'm too annoying to be here. I'm gonna die. So, sorry if I've been quiet so far. Let's turn that down a bit. I'm sorry if the game's even quieter, but, you know, um... Oh boy, OCD's looking a bit. 
I'll answer your question. Oh, that's what I've created. Oh. I've also created the name Shotgun Man 93 during the series, so I'm actually really proud of that, because that is a good name. You have to admit, Shotgun Man 93 is a cool name. Here, you get fed. You get fed into it. Oh, you want it too? Yep. Nope, yep, you have to wait your turn, guys. 